Hey guys, welcome back to Clueless Crafts. Today is another easy animal tutorial. If you're just here for a certain animal, there's links in the description to skip forward to those. But let's get on to the video. First animal we're making is a cat. So I'm starting off with a ball of white clay and taking a little ball of orange clay, flattening it out and adding it to the ball of white clay. And I'm taking a small ball, pinching it into a diamond shape and cutting it in half. And that will be one ear and I'm making another one in an orange color. And then for the inner part of the ears, I'm just taking a little ball of pink clay, pinching it into a diamond, cutting it in half and placing on top. Then I'm just putting the orange ear over the orange pattern and the white ear over the white pattern. Some indents for eyes, black balls to put in them, a little pink triangle for the nose, and I'm taking some very thin logs of black clay, curving them a bit and using that for the mouth. Moving on to the body, I'm doing the same thing as the head, taking a ball of white clay and adding in some orange clay and mixing them together. Then I'm just rolling it into a cone shape with a flat top. I'm just rolling it until the head fits on top of the body. And once I know it fits, I'm making some legs with some white clay, mixing in some orange on one of them, rolling them into skinny logs with a tapered end and fitting them on top. Cutting off any excess. Now for the hind legs, I'm taking two balls of white clay, adding a little bit of orange where I see fit and placing them on the sides behind the front legs. Then for their little feet, just rolling them into little logs and placing them on the bottom of the hind legs. Now for the tail, same thing, orange clay on white clay and rolling that out into a tapered log and attaching it to the back and rolling it towards the front. Finally, the only thing we need to do is attach the head with some liquid Sculpey and it's ready for baking. And this is the finished result of that. Next up, we have a green lizard. So I'm just taking a ball of clay and rolling that out into a snake shape and just curving the end of the tail. And I'm using a tool to kind of carve out a neck shape you can use your fingers for that. And I wanted him to have a lighter tummy, so I'm taking some light green clay, rolling it out into a smaller log, and just blending that onto his stomach area. I ended up putting it too far up, so I just ended up ripping some of that off. And once that's on, we can start doing the legs. So I'm just taking a small ball and rolling it into a teardrop shape and bending it into kind of like a banana. Then I'm just making two cuts on the end for the toes. And once that's done, just bend it even more and attach it to the body and blend out the edges. And I did that for the other side on the front as well. Now for the hind legs, I didn't really look at a picture of a lizard before this, so that was my fault. But I ended up doing these same legs as the front and that didn't end up working out. So I'll show you the right way later on of how to shape the legs, but for now just kind of look at this weird looking lizard. Now this is what not to do. Now I wanted to add a little bit of pattern on the lizard, so I took that same light green color on the stomach and put some stripes on there. I also put some eyes in off camera, but I think that's self-explanatory. And this is where you see I took off the legs because I should have put the stripes on before I put the legs on. So the front legs are the same, but the back legs kind of look like an S or a Z, which is what I should have done in the first place. But I mean, I needed to take them off to fix the stripes anyway, so it's not a huge deal. This one turned out all right, despite the setbacks. Now we are moving on to the sloth taking a ball of brown clay and rolling it out slightly into a fat log with one end slightly tapered. Then I wanted to create more definition for the neck, so I ended up taking a tool and just kind of making an indent all the way around and blending it out. Doesn't make much of a difference, so you can skip this step if you want. But taking some light brown clay for the face, just squishing that on and blending the edges. 
Then using some dark brown clay, I'm making that for the eye pattern. So I'm just squishing that against the board, cutting it in half and just kind of squishing that further on my finger to get the right shape. And uh, don't do this. Yeah, no, that's a bad habit of mine, but please don't cut clay on your finger. That's what the cutting board below me is for. But I'm just placing that dark brown on either side of the face and blending that in. Then a little piece of brown clay for the nose. Indents for the eyes and black clay goes in them. And I wanted our sloth to have a little smile, so I just took a tiny log of black clay, curved it up with my fingers and placed that on. Just taking four equal pieces of brown clay and rolling those into teardrop shapes. And once they're done, I'm taking some light brown clay, same as the face. So I'm just rolling that out into a very thin log and cutting tiny pieces. And those will be the sloth's claws. Once all the claws are on, time to put the arms and legs on the sloth. Two on top, two on bottom. And our sloth is done and looking super cute. Now, finally, we have a rooster. So I'm taking a ball of white clay and rolling that out into a fat log. And I'm just kind of pinching the ends together so to create kind of like an L shape. So it'll look something like this. And once you have the shape you want, I'm just making an indent in the middle of the tail to create kind of a feather look. And it is now time for the wings. So I'm taking a single ball of white clay and squishing it into a teardrop shape and making sure that it is the right size compared to the rest of the body. And once I'm satisfied with that, I'm cutting it in half right down the middle. Now just taking a flat tool, I'm putting some indents in the end for some more feather texture and I'm just putting it on on either side of the rooster and squishing them in making sure they're even. Now for the beak, small ball of yellow clay and rolling that on one end and pinching then cutting off the base of it and that'll just be our little triangle beak. And now for that thing below the rooster's beak, you all know what I mean but I'm not sure what it's called. But I'm just taking a ball of red clay, just making an indent in the middle and pinching the other end so it looks like a heart. Now for the rooster's headpiece, taking the same red, rolling it into a log and making two indents on top, slightly curving it and placing it right on the middle of the head and putting indents for the eyes and black clay in the indents. Now the final step is to create the rooster's feet. So I'm creating a diamond shape with yellow clay, cutting that in half, making indents for the toes and just placing that on the bottom. And your rooster is ready. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know down in the comments or by leaving a like on the video. But other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all later. Bye.